I went through a couple of uh, quotes. One was from uh, Valerie Hunt's book, The Infinite Mind, which is uh, the display quote for the sixth chapter of Spiritual Solution. She said, but I do not believe that man can perceive his godlike qualities until his field reaches higher and higher vibrations and attains a greater degree of coherency. No matter how hard we may try to receive spiritual guidance, we cannot until our fields are attuned to that vibrational system called God. Let me share that with you again. But I do not believe that man can perceive his godlike qualities until his field reaches higher and higher vibrations and attains a greater degree of coherency. So that you can sit there in anger and in fear and in shame and all of the uh, uh, reactions in your life that compute to make you weak, and that will make sense shortly. And you can never come to know God according to uh, the minefield theory that uh, Dr. Hunt espouses and talks about. And according to a spiritual solution to every problem. Because when you're not at peace, you have sent your body into a vibrational field of energy in which you have allowed your mind to create the error or the illusion that you and God are no longer connected. And that begins to take over. And as hard as you may try, and no matter what you may do, until you can raise the frequency at which you vibrate, until you can raise the energy level at which you experience life, and move out of the lower and slower frequencies and into the higher frequencies, you will not be able to access and negotiate the presence of a spiritual solution to your problems. You see, the intellect has trouble with this. Because the intellect is the mind and the mind is the ego. If you ask most people, where is your center? Where are you centered? They will point to their head. Where do you originate from? Where is your source? Where is your ability to think and to process? They will point to their head and they will say, it's in my brain. My brain is what makes me be able to think and be able to understand concepts and so on. If you ask a spiritual being, where is your source? Where is your center? What is it that gives you the ability to understand these great miraculous things? They will point to their heart. And so, heart consciousness is very different than head consciousness. The head consciousness is one which tries to analyze it, so tries to figure it out, and has a great deal of difficulty with it because it's coming from this position of separateness. The heart is your intuition. The heart is the part of you that says, I know and I trust and it works for me and I don't have to convince anyone else of it. And once you have this, even prayer becomes not like... Uh, most people think of prayer as like... Uh, God is like this huge vending machine in the sky. All right? And... I put in my tokens, and I behave in a certain way, and certain things are going to come to me. But there's an authentic kind of prayer that is very different than this. And this kind of prayer is one in which your prayer is in communion with God, rather than separation from. I turn it over to this higher part, but it's not something that I'm ever separate from. That's trust. That kind of trust in combination with knowing that you're no longer afraid of being God. Know ye that ye are God. And I am in you, and you are in me, and I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. It's like this is something that we are being taught, and yet we have been conditioned almost to subscribe to another idea which says that I am not trustworthy, I am separate from, I can't do those things. That has to be transcended. You have to understand that in terms of people using it to give fear to you. And our greatest fear is the fear that we're going to be alone, that we're going to be abandoned. But this universal intelligence 
that is everywhere, this divine intelligence that is universal, that is in all things, how can it abandon us? Wherever we go, it's there. When you trust in that and know it without any doubt, you begin to see it everywhere. You see it in the flowers. You see it in the sunsets. You see it in your babies and in your mother-in-law. You see it in all places. And what you're doing when you see it is you're recognizing that I am worthy and I am important and I am significant. Yes, I am connected to God. I am what God is doing. And that's the subject of the next principle. Honoring your worthiness to receive. Thank you.